Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah, we're in Stoke-on-Trent. We are using the Alan Thompson Sim West Coast Mainline Missing Link route today, which has been released on the 21st of March. And uh, we're going to be taking this Armstrong Powerhouse Class 156 for a spin. Yeah, got them the right way around today. Uh, yeah, we're going to be taking it for a spin. We have come from, uh, we're going to say we've come from Derby. Because we probably did. Hang on, what have we got on the... Uh, oh, hang on, where are we there? One kilo, five, five. Uh, oh, we've come from Newark Castle. We're off to Crewe. And uh, today we are calling at Longport, Kidsgrove, Alsager and Crewe. So journey time today is just uh, roughly half an hour. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's going to give us a good look at the new route. See what's, uh, see what's happening here. Let's just get the DRA off. There's a Pendolino coming in. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, the route today, we are here stuck on Trent. We'll have a look at the Pendolino. Ah, pretty, lovely. Right, he's here now, so we can move on. So, the line that we already had was from Preston, somewhere up here, down to Birmingham, somewhere down there. And what this phase four adds is a new circle, uh, a new loop, which goes uh, from, uh, from, from, from there, which is Stafford, yep. Round through Stone, up through Stoke and Trent, Kidsgrove, and across to Crew. Let's actually get the show on the road because I realise the guards buzz me. He'll be getting, uh, he'll be getting annoyed, won't he? He'll be stood there thinking, "Come on, driver!" It was definitely a green signal. Uh, so yeah, um, nice bit of route. It also fixes some bugs found in the other, uh, the other versions of uh, Phase Three, Phase Three, Three. Can't even say it. Phase Three. There we go. Uh, fixes some bugs which were in that I'm really hoping uh, that this will have fixed the signalling around Birmingham because it was borderline unplayable uh, so I'm really hoping that that is fixed however we won't be looking at that today because everything in this video is a part of the new loop and uh, yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to it this area is relatively near my house don't worry, I don't live in Stoke on Trent. No, I live in a little town called Congleton, which isn't too far from Macclesfield, which isn't too far from Stockport, which isn't too far from Manchester. I live absolutely nowhere near Manchester, but you get my drift. It's, it's kind of between Manchester and Stoke on Trent, where I live. And um, so it's nice to see routes that you recognise, you know, from, from around where you live. Um, I'm really hoping that eventually they will add Manchester to this so you'll be able to drive Manchester to Birmingham in a cross-country service you'll be able to drive Pendolinos uh, maybe even the Manchester to Crewe section as well really I'm hoping that they'll add that uh, that's not me saying that they're gonna because quite frankly I don't get told such important information but um, yeah it's uh, it's I'd, I'd be absolutely thrilled if they did and now this route is a freeware route, you don't have to pay, that's the definition of freeware. And being a tight-fisted Yorkshireman with short arms and deep pockets, I absolutely love things you don't have to pay for. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, there's a link in the description on where you can acquire this route. There's a couple of things that you do need. When I first ran this route, there was a lot of milk bottles in the track. You know that there's always milk bottles on, uh, on my train simulator videos. But yeah, milk bottles absolutely everywhere. As it turned out, I hadn't got the latest version of the Armstrong Powerhouse. No, nope, wrong one. Ah, oh, you were doing so well. The uh, the Alan Thompson Sim overhead electrification pack. Basically, all the knitting you see above us. Uh, I hadn't got the latest version of that pack. And uh, and if you don't have version nine or newer, it won't work. There you go. Well, the route will work, but you just have no over wires. So yeah. Uh, we've got a 319, a northern 319 coming towards us. Give him a little, uh, give him a wave. There we go. That's obviously uh, come from Manchester today. That might have even stopped at Congleton. In fact, it probably will have done. I tell you where it won't have stopped. Longport. Longport, our first call, our first station call. Uh, yeah, they don't stop there, northern. Or they don't stop many. There's, there's maybe the odd service on a Sunday, early morning, late night. But yeah, who'd have thought Northern operating a service that doesn't call somewhere? Heavens no. Should have at the thought. But of course East Midlands do operate a service to Longport. Uh, they, uh, this is the service route to crew. I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I'm enjoying the route. It's a good looking route. There's plenty of clutter about, you know. Um, we've not got any rubbish. I imagine kind of round here 
would be a hot spot for fly tipping. Not that I wish to cast aspersions on uh, on the residents of Longport, but it kind of it looks like a bit of an industrial area we're driving through at the moment, doesn't it? Right, there we go. We'll uh, we'll just get a bit of step two in. I don't like to break too sharply, but you know you you do just need to make sure that you stop at the station. There's it's all right giving the passengers a comfortable ride, but if you do start missing stations, then that's when management starts to, you know, kind of raise an eyebrow there. I think we've just gone past the two-car stop board a little bit, but that's good because it means that we're fully accommodated on the platform. There we go. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice. Let's, uh... No, it's a fine day for it, isn't it? That's, uh, that's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, the sky is absolutely crystal clear, isn't it? That's nice. I like a nice day for it. Right, there we go. Are we, are we a little bit early into Longport? Oh, we're due out at 43, so we've got about uh, 40 minutes to go. 40 minutes? 40 seconds? Heck, 40 minutes, that's a long standing time, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 40 seconds to go, due out at 09 at 43. And, uh, and then it's straight uh, straight to Kids Grove, lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. Journey time, as I say, roughly half an hour today. Look out for a 30 mile an hour TSR at Radway Green. Oh, I didn't know that. Right, well, I have absolutely no idea where Radway Green is. Oh, it's a class 66 in Colas livery. I didn't know class... Oh, yeah, of course, Colas have got 66s. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Give him a wave. Right. Full steam ahead, please. This, uh, this 156 does not feel sluggish. You know, is it just me? When we were accelerating, I felt like we were going up a really steep uphill section. Right, there we go. You've, of course, not got to get Longton confused with Longport, which Longport is round here. Um, I went for a little uh, a little day riding around on the buses in, uh, in Stoke-on-Trent. You know, just uh, I thought it's my local first potteries, my local first depot, first potteries. So I thought I'll go for a little uh, little ride on the buses. And uh, I, I went to Longton thinking it was Longport. I thought, oh, I might see some fast trains coming through here. Nah, I saw nothing. Uh, yeah, there's one East Midlands, an hour in each direction. Maybe a freight. I didn't see any freight. I didn't even see a single train. Uh, that's that's how uh, how few services there were. I was there about 20 minutes thinking, oh, well, there might be something coming through. You know, any time now. No, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was, uh, I was thoroughly disappointed. Uh, if you're going to Longport, you probably want to get a 7 or a 7A that goes up to Kidsgrove. That's, uh, that's where you want to be heading. I don't know if it goes... It probably will go through Longport, won't it? It'll follow the railway line. Oh, we are going up a steep incline now, look. I mean, hell, we're at 50 miles an hour. This is this is about as good as you're getting today. Seems to look a lot quicker from the passenger view uh, than what it does from the driver view. But yeah, all in all, I've not got anything just yet on this route to suggest that it's not a very well-made route. You know, there's there's plenty to see. It doesn't feel like it's the same asset used again and again and again. I mean, let's face it, some of these trees probably are the same asset used again and again and again. But, you know, it doesn't feel like that. You don't feel like you're driving through this kind of sterile environment. People could live here. That's my that's my main point. You know, these these places feel alive, and that's good. That's really good. Especially for freeware. I mean, I'm really quite surprised they didn't sell this, but to be fair, I think the West Coast Medline Missing Link, that was the first line from Alan Thompson's Sim, wasn't it? The first route? Maybe? Yeah, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. But yeah, so I guess it's good uh, let us show you what we can do sort of thing. Flying all the way up to Kidsgrove here. 
Uh, it's of course given as a warning uh, that we will be down to 15 miles an hour. Flipping heck, 15 miles an hour to go around the corner at Kids Grove. Want to join my channel as a Joe Plus member? Well, now you can. At the top of my page, head to join, click it, and this window will pop up with everything that I offer you. For £4.99 a month, you'll get a range of benefits, including loyalty badges, custom emoji, priority reply to comments, early access to new videos, sometimes 24 hours in advance, and member-only polls, all for £4.99 a month. What's not to love? Head to my channel and click join now today. It's all right, it's starting to go downhill now. I'm gonna have to start braking in a moment. We'll just coast. What time are we due in? Oh, we're due it. We're gonna get in roughly at 9.48. We're due at 49. Heck. Pendolino. Ah, so that first Pendolino will be the one that doesn't stop at Macclesfield, or it'll be the one that does stop at Macclesfield. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're, we're really going to be speeding here. You've, you've overclocked. Oh, I think we're going to need a bit of emergency. Probably emergency just to stop at the station. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really not good at... Uh, hell... Oh, there'll be some flange here. Oh, I, uh, I uh, there we go. Yeah, we we just about stopped. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. That'll do. And now, one thing I do always look at on uh, on Alan Thompson Sim routes now is the gap between the train and the platform edge, because uh, on uh, on the West Coast Missing Link there were some huge gaps. And uh, it's, it's no exception here at Kids Grove. That is quite an exceptional gap between the train and the platform edge. Yep, and, uh, and there as well. I don't know what it is. They, uh, they do seem really quite fearful of, uh, of pressing that a bit close to the train. I mean, hell, it might be like that in real life. I've never got on or off a train at Kids Grove before. I didn't know there was four platforms here, to be honest with you. Uh, but yes, um, mm, mm, quite a large gap. Quite a large gap. I've not tried it the other way. Maybe it's better the other way. I mean, to be fair, unless you're actually going looking for it, it doesn't look like there's a large gap here, does it? Until you kind of think, yeah, I'm I'm a long way. I mean, yeah, even even a person would have to jump that. That's that's a little bit. Yeah. Okay. See, I always just whinge at Dom from uh, from Alan Thompson Sim. I always just vent my frustrations to him. And he normally gives me some reason as to why it can't be done. And uh, I reject said reason and uh, continue to whinge. And, uh, and this will be no exception. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, uh, to be fair, actually, that platform on the left, even from the driving cab view, you can see that's, that's a hell of a gap, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm sure these things can be corrected uh, with, uh, with bug fixes, patches, etc, etc. Right, go! I mean, to be fair, he could whinge at my driving, which, uh, you know, going that, that speed into Kids Grove. Oh, are we going downhill? Oh, there we go, full power. Right, we're off to Alsage next. We take the dogs to the vets in Alsager. Well, there you go. Fascinating fact about Joe. The dog goes to the vets in Alsager. So, of course, this section of line is shared. Uh, East Midlands do operate an hourly service, I do believe. I don't know if that was different through COVID. But, of course, London North Western do also operate uh, an hourly service down here as well. I would imagine that they would operate at half an hour frequencies. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. If you were going to stock on Trent to uh, to crew, you'd probably wait for the London Midland, wouldn't you? Four carriages, probably less people on board. 
Ah, but then it'll be a 350 and uh, and you won't get the diesel thrash that you'll get in a 156. But you will probably be squashed in. Oh, it's a difficult one, that, isn't it? And of course, Mike from uh, my Discord server, one of my admins on my Discord server, if you've not joined, click the link in the description to do so. Uh, he did used to be a guard at London Midland, London North Western Railway, based at Crewe. So he did actually uh, used to uh, used to work this route. The problem he had down this route was the fact that he was a scouser, so nobody could understand what he was saying. And uh, by the time they could understand what he'd say, and he'd had to repeat himself that much, they were completely drenched in phlegm. Um, you know, so he, he did struggle, bless him. I mean, I, there's a running joke between us. I always tell him uh, that I've counted the silverware in the drawers. I'll know if any of it's gone missing when he leaves. I mean, what's a bit of stereotyping between friends? Yeah, it's coming into Alsage. I didn't know there was a loop here. I imagine that this is uh, maybe for freight. Do you reckon you could put freight in the loop while uh, while passenger things go round it? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? We're back to uh, we're back to being a professional driver here. Look, we're, we're slowing down in time for the station. I mean, look at this. This route was fantastic. I love the, uh, the, the, the things, the, the, the vents, the drainage, I'm assuming it's drainage, it looks like it, in the middle of the, uh, the running lines there, in the six foot. I'll just uh, ease the braking off a little bit there, we'll pop out of the train. I wanted to have a look at this, uh... oh it's a 153. Welcome to Alsager, railway town since 1840. Oh, hang on. What's happened? Oh, I've fouled the signal. Heck, I can't release the doors. Just bear with. If we could just... There we go, that's me. Yeah, you can't do this in real life. I was too busy looking at the mural. Yeah, I was too busy looking at that, obviously, in real life, if that had have happened. Uh, the guard would have just released the doors anyway. There we go. Right, I wonder why. Uh, I wonder why there's so much platform. See, I was looking for a stop car board. I mean, I'm assuming there would be one, because otherwise you'd, you'd go down to the end of the platform, wouldn't you? Because I couldn't see a stop car board. I thought, oh, I'll I'll stop under the shelter. That was kind of my logic and reasoning there. I mean, it's it's sensible, isn't it? Oh, well, there we go. Let's have a look. So we add you out at 54. So we're not actually late. I mean, it's not been the most professional video today, has it? I mean, Joe going nearly flying through Kids Grove, not doing 15. And uh, I, do you know what? I thought that was a really professional stop in Alsager, if it hadn't been for the fact I missed the bit where I was actually meant to stop. Hey, dearie me. Head in me hands moment. But never mind, it makes for more interesting viewing, doesn't it? If every video was just mundane, where we made it from A to B, without any dramas and cock-ups, then, uh, then I imagine you wouldn't find it quite so entertaining. Or maybe you would, I don't know. There we go. Full power. Brilliant, let's go, go, go. Level crossings down. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Want trains going. Got some red brick, uh, what looks like either offices or apartments on the right there. That's probably apartments, isn't it? What a great view if you like trains. With 156s roaring past. Fantastic. I mean, it's always typically the case, the uh, the people that live next to railways don't like railways. You know, and all the people that do like railways never seem to buy houses next to railways. You'd, you'd imagine, wouldn't you, it'd be the other way around. I 
Oh, Radway Green down main. Right, hang on. Look out for a 30 mile an hour TSR at Radway Green. Right, well, that's it. It's coming up now. Right, okay. I can do that. I imagine Barthomley Junction is, uh, is where it goes to single track. Because, yeah, we do have single track down here, which is a little bit weird, isn't it? Like, the idea of Class 350s running on single track is just a bit balmy. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll just start slowing down ever so slowly. I think I can see the temporary speed restriction anywhere without zooming in I think you can see the little uh, the little board in the track or next to the track yeah if it was in the track we'd mow it down wouldn't we you sausage there it is that little yellow sign we're going too fast again this step one braking really does nothing you may as well just not bother there we go perfect almost as if I meant that which I did, of course. So it's just a tiny little 30. I think this yellow, uh, this yellow sign will be off again, won't we? Yeah, T, done. Right, okay. might even make it to 50 miles an hour. We've not made it to line speed yet, have we, on this? I mean, we have when the, the line speed is low, but uh, we've even exceeded it in some areas. There we go. I imagine, is this a level crossing coming up? We need to give a honk to uh, to go over. I'm surprised, you know. I thought that we would run, like, alternatively. Well, we'd alternate between the 350 and us. And we haven't seen a 350 going the other way, have we? You kind of think that they would have done that. Maybe it's cancelled, who knows. Oh, we're absolutely motoring now, aren't we? A nice steady 60 miles an hour. Just pop the, uh, the throttle down to, to five. Do you reckon we'll need to ease up a bit more? Heck, it's a proper roller coaster this track, isn't it? Look how much it goes up and down. Heck, no, oh, we're speeding. Make it nice and steady, Joe. Doing well. Oh, is that a river down in the uh, down in the valley on the left there? Very nice. This kind of reminds me of, of the triangle a little bit. You know the the West Yorkshire Triangle, like the uh, the Skipton, Ilkley, Bradford, Foster Square line, uh, like the the Bailden bit between, because that goes to single track. I mean, granted, it has a station with single track, Bailden. But yeah, you've kind of got this this main line to Ilkley. You've got a main line to Skipton, and then this is the little little kind of branch in the middle that connects the two. Would you say that Ilkley was a main line? No, I probably wouldn't actually. You know, now you now you come to mention it. There we go, we'll give him a honk. Another crossing on a bend, of course. That explains the whistle board.
Right. I don't reckon we'll get to 70. We probably would in a 350. Oh, we want Accelerate because we're coming up to... Uh, coming up to a yellow. Just a single yellow. So that means the next one is most likely to be red. And if this is the case, that means we need to stop. So let's, uh, yeah, instead of trying to razz it all the way up to... Uh, oh, hang on. 30. Oh, we're not going left. Right, okay. I thought we were. Oh, that's weird. I guess it depends what platform you're coming in on. Your platform is already occupied with another unit. Press tab to pass the signals ahead at danger. Oh, thank you for telling me. What's this in front? Is this an Avanti Voyager? Oh, it is. Oh, lovely. Quest to pass signal at danger approved. Now, uh, my level of judginess will entirely depend on what livery, what voyager this is. Oh, no, it's the North Wales Coast version. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, admittedly, the model is... You see, I don't really think the model's that good on the North Wales Coast version. There's there's two different models of Voyager, isn't there? There's the uh, there's the Just Trains version, which is arguably a lot better to drive. But then there's also the North Wales Coast version, which does feature, uh, you know, bits and pieces that the Just Trains one doesn't. For instance, there's the scoop on the uh, on the front of the train that the, that the real ones do have that the Just Trains ones doesn't. You know, so they they kind of look a bit more. Uh, but yeah, it. It's, hmm, yeah, we, we could really do with an Armstrong Powerhouse brand new Voyager, couldn't we, really? You know, that they made from scratch that just looks absolutely immaculate. Oh, Pendolino again to London. God, it gets a regular service, this uh, this London place, doesn't it? We're going to fit in here. I know you don't fit a four-car Voyager on this platform, because I tried that. I mean, I didn't intentionally. I just, when I first loaded the route, I did a quick drive. And if you go crew to Birmingham, it spawns you here, because it thinks you're on a London Northwestern. And uh, I just shoved a Voyager in, thinking I could pretend it was on diversion or some nonsense like that. Um, yeah, it doesn't fit on the platform. I was saying to my other half, look, we're on diversion. It's like, what, you've come from Manchester? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Goes, so why are you in a southbound bay platform? I'm like, well, you just have to use your imagination, please. You know? I don't know if cross-country do sign that as a diversion, are we? They might do. Are we coupling up or are we staying apart? I reckon staying apart. Oh, he's got his lights on. Right, that is uh, that is us on the platform. There we go. So that is uh, the first look video that we're going to do today of the Alan Thompson Sim Stoke Loop. Yeah, smashing. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed the video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. And of course, if you did enjoy and you want to see more, oh, no rest for the wicked heading back. Mmm, smashing. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on any future Train Simulator videos. Other than that, as I say, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.